All right, now that we got our column labels and row labels all set up, it's time to start putting numeric data into this expense report. So the first cell that we're gonna be putting a numeric value in is the cost of goods sold for January, which is cell B4. So go ahead and click inside that cell. And let's just say that cost of goods sold was $1,000 for January. Now before I click enter, see if you catch the difference between entering a numeric value versus a text value like we did for the column labels and row labels. So if I click enter, you can see that the number is right aligned. What this means is that Excel automatically knows that we entered a numeric value. And the reason why Excel right aligns numeric values is because it helps with decimal places. So for example, if I change this to $1,000.58 and right below that for wages, I put 527 cents, you could tell that the decimals line up and it's a nice clean look. Now if I select these cells, by just clicking and then dragging over the cells to select them and change them to left align, you could tell that I'm getting like a little snake figure action where it's kind of hard to read the numbers because the decimals don't line up. So to undo that, I'm just going to click the undo button, which is also control Z if you're on Windows or command Z if you're on Mac. So control Z. Now we're back to a nice cleaner look. Now I'm going to change these figures back to non-decimal figures. So $1,000 for a cost of goods sold in January, and I'll put $500 for wages for January. Rent was $750, supplies $125, and utilities was $80. Okay, and I'm going to click Tab to go over to the cell to the right, and I'm just going to click on the up arrow key to go back up to February. Now, let's say cost of goods sold in February was $850, Wages stayed the same, 500. Rent stayed the same, 750. Supplies, let's say $100 of supplies and utilities went up by $40, so 120. So I'm gonna click the enter key and that just brought me down a cell. So I'm gonna click the right arrow and go back up using the up arrow to March. And cost of goods sold, let's say 900. Wages, once again, the same, rent the same, supplies went up even more, and utilities went down a little bit, so 95. Okay, well, I think we're at a good stopping point for this video since we got all of our numeric values entered in for all of our expenses and for each month. I just wanted to point out the difference between entering numeric values versus text values because down the road when we actually start using these values inside of our formulas, it's important that they are formatted correctly because if we try to sum a text value with a numeric value, we're going to get an error, which we'll learn a little bit later in the course. But for now, I think we're all set. And in the next video, we'll discuss how to format these values correctly to give us a little bit more information about what these values actually mean.